Welcome to Terreno. If you haven't built Terreno before and you want to start, you are in the right place. In this first video, we'll go over the supplies and tools you'll need, as well as some safety tips. So let's get started. So the first and most important ingredient in all of Terreno is ready board foam board. Now, why does it have to be a ready board foam board? Well, because ready board is designed in a way to make it easy to peel the paper off. And there's two versions of it. There's black and there's white. It doesn't matter which one you get because the foam inside is actually white on, in either case. And you can get this at uh, Dollar Tree nationwide and in Canada, or you can also get it online at the Game Gear Master Store. The other magic ingredient is wood glue, specifically this tight bond wood glue with the red label. Why this one? Because this one is the least expensive of the tight bonds and it mixes well with the paint, which we're going to be using it as. We're basically going to use this as a mix in with our paint to give the Torino pieces their strength. Now there may be other wood glues you could use in sub as a substitute for this, but this is the only one that I do recommend. And of course, you're gonna need some paint. Uh, the most, the least expensive option is these little tiny bottles. They're two fluid ounces. I think they're a little more than 50 cents at Walmart. Uh, you can also get them online at the Game Gear Master Store. Um, keep in mind that whatever amount that you buy, you will have three times this amount by the time you mix it together with glue and water. So two ounces becomes six ounces. A uh, small bottle like this is probably pushing it for your first go around. I would probably recommend getting this size bottle. That'll give you 24 fluid ounces of paint. I think it's like 250. Um, at, at Walmart last time I checked. You can also get this at the Game Gear Master Online store as well. You're also gonna need some kind of a brush. Um, I use foam brushes. You can get a pack of these for a buck at Dollar Tree, of course. And they do a great job because you can actually do a very large area in a short amount of time. Outside of that, uh, one little roll of masking tape is great. This is uh, this was a dollar at Dollar Tree. If you can't get to Dollar Tree, I'll also have some options on the online store. Um, but again, I do recommend the one from Dollar Tree. It's the Toolbench brand, um, and I really like this because this masking tape is a lighter color than most masking tapes, which means that when you paint it with our paint, glue, and water mixture, it won't show through as much and, and tint your color. Another must-have material is, uh, well, kind of any kind of cardboard, really. Um, this is basically, my best source for it is, uh, is packaging. So this is like a cereal box, just some ice cream cones. Uh, stuff from um, Frozen Goods is really good, too. You can see it's sort of, uh, it's kind of like, it's pretty stiff and relatively thick, um, but any almost any will do. And we're gonna use this to add some toughness to the printable templates we're gonna use. Now you can also use what's called chipboard. This is basically just a better quality standardized cardboard you can buy. Uh, you can get this at the Game Gear Master Store. Uh, this is something that we also will be using for modular grid tiles if you go that route. Glue sticks are definitely an option too. Um, personally, I like to make my templates with the type on wood glue because it gets them very thoroughly on there. But when you do that, while they're drying, you do have to put them under a weight of like a book to keep them from warping. If that's something that you're not comfortable doing, you can get glue sticks. Uh, you can get four of these at the Dollar Tree for a uh, dollar. Um, you can get better ones, but it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. The only difference between these and like the, the, the better quality ones is that these are the, the glue itself is a little mushier, so you may get little bumps. Um, but it does just fine as far as I'm concerned. And then you're going to need a little bit of tin foil. Now, you know, you can literally just buy a little uh, roll of tin foil at uh, Dollar Tree because you're literally just going to wad it up into like a, you know, a baseball sized uh, ball that we're going to use to texture with. As for must have tools, you must have a hot glue gun. Uh, these range in price from literally $2.99 for a little tiny one to, you know, the sky's the limit. You can get one for 30, 40 bucks. I think this one was five bucks at, roughly at uh, Walmart. Um, I have multiple choices for you on the Game Gear Master online store as well. And you'll see in my videos, I'll use this guy, this ugly, horrible arrow one that I use. And that's just because I'm used to it. I know how the, the uh, hot glue flows from it and I've been using it for years. It ultimately doesn't really matter. Some people prefer high temp guns, some people prefer low temp guns. Again, it's really just a matter of what you're used to. The other must have tool is a utility knife. Why a utility knife and not something like an X-Acto knife? There's a lot of reasons, but it comes down to two. Number one, these are super cheap. 
and so are the blades. You, and you can get them anywhere. You can literally go into any hardware store and you can get this. Exacto blades and Exacto sets, they tend to be a little bit more expensive. And also for our purposes, they do not do as good a job. And you're gonna need these blades, specifically they look like this. You're gonna need a couple of these to make tools that we're gonna make to cut out bits. So you're gonna have to have these blades anyway. You might as well get the knife. And for more advanced things like modular grid tiles, this is an absolute necessity. Terreno is intended to be built by grown-ups. Now that doesn't mean that kids can't help out, but grown-ups, you're gonna have to use your best discretion when it comes to sharp knives and hot glue. My personal recommendation is to have them nowhere near kids and uh, have them do other fun stuff like paint or draw on textures or, uh, you know, help in any other way that doesn't involve a knife and a uh, hot glue. So a good thing to have in general is a nice metal ruler. This is actually a square, but uh, I show this ruler because two things. One, it is metal and you want to have a metal one because when you're cutting up against it with your utility knife, if you have a wooden one or a plastic one, you can cut into it and ruin it. And I show this one because, it, yep, yes, yet again, this was a dollar at Dollar Tree and it's a great ruler. Um, and the right angle is helpful too. Terreno is designed not only around the idea of using inexpensive tools and materials, but also having those tools and materials be readily available to almost anyone. But I do understand that in some countries or in some regions, you may not have access to everything you're going to need. Don't worry, you can get everything that you may be missing at GameGearMaster.com. There's going to be a link there for a supplies store. Um, and I'll also leave a, a link to that down below. This is going to be a little bit more expensive. Unfortunately, I, there's nothing I can do about that, but it will help in those rare instances where there is something that you can't get locally. So if you haven't already, you can get started right now on your Terreno journey by downloading the Terreno construction manuals at GameGearMaster.com. They are consistently rated five stars and come with a 14-day hassle-free money-back guarantee. That means if Terreno's not for you, no problem. You'll get your money back, no questions asked. Happy crafting. And a big thank you to my supporters on Patreon.com forward slash Game Gear Master. And a shout out to the architects on there who really go above and beyond. Brian Yao and William Dellinger, thank you so much. And apologies if I mispronounced your names. If you'd like to become a patron and get exclusive Trano products, go to Patreon.com forward slash Game Gear Master.